Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy to be back with another video today. Uh, this one is part of a Instagram hop and there are prizes to win over on Instagram so make sure you check out the link in the description below for that. This week and next week Alex Iberia Designs is joined by Catherine Pooler Designs to show you how well our products work together. Uh, Alex Iberia Designs makes amazing stamp stencils and die sets, <laughs> you've seen them on my channel before. And you can also see me showcase them on the Alex Siberia Designs YouTube channel as well. I will leave that linked in the description below too. Make sure you subscribe for more uh, inspiration there. But I really enjoyed working with the Catherine Pooler inks for the first time. I had heard lots of good things about them. So many good things that I was almost afraid they were overhyped. But they aren't. They really are that good. I really enjoy them. They blend like butter and they are very vibrant colors. I can't wait to get some more. <laughs> to fully showcase these inks, I thought I'd cover my entire background with them. <laughs> I'm using three colors and I'm using the Fancy Background Stencil by Alex Iberia Designs. I really like this stencil. It's a intricate design, but the stencil itself isn't intricate, so it's very easy to work with. There are no super thin lines uh, that just keep shifting around but just bold lines and a beautiful mandala effect i really really love them now as you can see i am starting with the aqua teeny ink by katherine pooler and then i am going to the opposite corner and i'm using some orange there i have a limited selection of inks here but i did want to go from a cool tone to a warmer tone and that is a little bit tricky to do sometimes you have to be a little bit careful about creating mud, a muddy color, especially with orange and green here. So I usually just go from the uh, bottom right corner to the top left corner. I just do it all in order. This time I did the corners first and then I'm blending in the middle or the center. And I did that so I can make sure to not overlap the Tiki Torch and the Lime Ricky ink too much with each other. There's still a nice seamless blend there. I did overlap them a little bit, but I made sure to keep the inks light where they are overlapping. Um, which is not what I did with the Aqua Tini and the Lime Ricky. I heavily uh, went over that again with the Aqua Tini ink to create a darker green there that blends out into a really soft lime green and that goes to the orange. A very beautiful tropical background, I think. I really like this. Now it's also a testament to how great these inks blend that I was able to get such a great blend between that orange and that lime green uh, because I wasn't expecting that, but it worked out beautifully. Now all I really want to add to this card is a bold sentiment and to draw attention to that sentiment, I am adding some black splatter in the center. That is right where my sentiment is going to go over. It's a little hard to control splatter sometimes, so just make sure you tap your brush lightly and add a little bit more water than you normally would with your acrylic uh, paint. I'm using acrylic paint for this anyway. Uh, if you use ink, the same rule applies. Just add a little bit more water and the drops will fall easier so you don't have to tap as hard and they are not going to fly every which way. Now I didn't choose black splatter just because that's the easiest <laughs> to match with all the colors. I did tie that in with my sentiment. I knew I was going to white emboss a sentiment on black cardstock, although I did screw that up a little bit. I completely forgot to prep my cardstock with anti-static powder tools, so I got stray embossing powder everywhere. I normally never forget. I don't know what was wrong with me that day. <laughs> but it took me ages to wipe all wipe away all of those stray flecks of embossing powder but in the end i managed i didn't have to stem this again i just heat set that and then i can die it with the coordinating dies i really like that alex iberia designs includes some uh coordinating dies in their sets um to go with the sentiments in their stem sets I don't know a lot of companies that do this, but I really enjoy it when this happens because I much prefer a sentiment that I can cut out. It actually convinces me 
uh, most of the time to buy the coordinating die set if there are matching or coordinating dies for the Senderman stems as well. And that's not just because I have a hard time cutting around the sentiment with scissors. I'm very good at spicy cutting, but I just I I never get it right for a sentiment for some reason. But also, it's really great to stack your sentiments. Uh, usually, my sentiments not this time, but usually they go over intricate flower designs or something, and I don't want to have just one layer of cardstock laying over that because there's not going to be a whole lot of support behind that sentiment if I adhere it over a bunch of flowers. So if I can die cut the sentiment, I can also die cut just blank pieces of paper in the same shape and layer those up. This is going to create a very sturdy sentiment that is going to be perfect to layer on top of any element on your card. Now all that's left to do for this card is to adhere that beautifully stenciled background on top of a wide top folding note card. I always make top folding cards. They just photograph better. <laughs> that's the only reason. Um, so yeah. I am adhering that down with some liquid glue. You can use any adhesive you want here. Uh, you can also trim this panel down a little bit if you want. I didn't want a frame behind this. I just didn't want to cut away any of that gorgeous background. And I'm being so careful with how I adhere this down because the splatter isn't fully dry at this point, but I am very impatient. I am going to use some more of that liquid adhesive. This is barely art precision craft glue. Any liquid adhesive will do. Um, and I'm adhering my sentiment smack dab in the middle. I don't think it's actually smack dab in the middle, but it's good enough for me. I am very bad at centering things, <laughs> which is usually why I go offset. Uh, this time I didn't. It's a little bit easier to line up, line this up with the center of the background because the background is symmetrical. So that's a little bit of an easier guide. Now to draw the eye even more to that sentiment, even though it already stands out beautifully from that brightly colored background, I'm adding a couple of gems right around it. I don't like to add gems just in empty spaces. That's not how I work. I like to add embellishments around the items that I want to draw the eye to. So in this case, that's the sentiment. A big, bold, white on black sentiment on top of a bright, colorful background with some splatter and some gems to draw the eye even more to the sentiment even though it already <laughs> stands out quite a bit is a great way to make a clean and simple card. You don't have to do this with stamped sentiments though um, I really like <laughs> white embossing on black cardstock. You can also uh, die cut sentiments and do the splatter that around that that would be really fun as well or even hot foil that would be cool. Just make sure to do your splatter first, I think, so you can foil over the splatter in the center. Although I haven't tested it out and I just realized that I don't know how paint would react to being hot foiled over. Maybe I should test it out someday. I really enjoyed this collab with uh, Alex Iberia Designs and Catherine Pooler Designs. If you want to win some gift cards, head on over to Instagram. You can find the link for that in the description below. There is a gift card to the Alex Iberia Designs shop uh, to win and also a gift card for Catherine Pooler to win. So amazing prizes. I wish you guys all the luck. Just leave a comment on each stop of the hop. This video is not part of it. The comments you leave here are just for my enjoyment and I do enjoy them. Um, but if you want a chance to actually win one of the gift cards, you'll have to have, head on over to Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the card and I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.